Welcome back to another episode of Cold Comedy Cinema. I am your hostess, who just realized she has like the worst resting bitch face the most, is Natalia. And tonight we're going to be doing a hammer horror vampire double feature here on Cold Comedy Cinema. And I'm so excited. But how is everybody? How are we doing? How was your Monday? Was it a good Monday? Did you do all the things? Oh my god, I am. They're not new. They're not new. I just reinstalled everything for... Which you guys can't see it, but the gaming area is over there. And I wanted the lights to wrap around over there too. So yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Instead of having them on the floor, I actually just taped them to the back of the couch. I was like, who cares about vintage finish on this antique couch? I'm just kidding. I do care about it, but I'll refinish it when I take it off. But yeah, we got them on there. Um, and then, yeah, dude, I'm so excited. I'm sorry I'm late. I got distracted because I was decorating. And then um, I realized that I still had to bathe the dogs before I came in here. And then Louie didn't want to take a bath. So it took me a few extra minutes. But guys, how are you guys? You having good days? Did we do the things today? Roswell, what's up? Daniel, what's up? Everybody else, what's up? Oh my goodness. It's been a day. Oh. I know. I'm trying to like make sure that the lights are all doing things. I also changed the lighting on it. Like the light settings for some reason were messed up. I didn't realize I could like increase them. So we're here. Dude, I'm not ready to go another 24 hours. I'm not, I'm not. I, I'm gonna warn you right now. I've been coughing all, I coughed all day yesterday, all day today. Um, I don't think I've talked that much in, in my entire life, at least consistently. Like, holy fucking shit, holy fucking shit, but yeah. But we did the thing. We did the thing. I think it came out to like 22 hours, which I was like, that's even better for our second birthday. Even better. Dude, it's fine. My body also shut down. My body was just like, we're not doing this today. We are going to bed. And I was like, okie dokie. Once I stopped being able to remember what words I was trying to say, I was like, it's time. It is time. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I had like the, oh my God, what's his name? Simba's dad's voice in my head, like, it's time. And I was like, it is, it is time. <laughs> do, do. I don't know the song. Oh, Dracula was amazing. I'm so surprised that I haven't seen that before. Um, i trying to think what else. Creepshow was great. Um, the series that Roswell, not Roswell, excuse me. That Sirius suggested, please don't pop up. Okay, it didn't pop up. Um. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it was. Like, that was like the small, it was a short little episode that we watched. It was so much fun. I think we're going to go back and rewatch some of those in the future. Oh, what else did we watch? What the last movie we watched was good. I honestly, I think Dracula looked fly as fuck in red. Like, dude, dude was rocking it. I mean, like, he could have had a little moisturizer up here. You know, a little virgin's blood on the cheeks. But, you know... He was rocking the red. He was rocking the red. I wasn't mad about it. At all. At all. That, dude, it was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Zero, zero complaints. And then I woke up today to uh, finding out about like Fred Armiston being in the new Wednesday series as, oh, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm a huge, I'm a huge Fred fan. I'm a huge fan and he, um, he comes through Birmingham cause he does like comedy, but it's like music. He's like in a band. I don't know what it is. I've never been able to go. It's like Fred Armistead, isn't it? Fred Armistead. I'm terrible with last names. You know this. He was on SNL. He was on SNL for the longest time. And I was like, oh, he was one of my first comedy crushes. There we go. There we go. Fred Armisen. Oh, my name. My brain's still fried. I'm still fried. He's Fester. Yeah, he's Uncle Fester. And it was just, like, so good. I, like, I saw, like, the clip, I guess, they released it at Comic-Con, and I was, I was worried about who they were going to choose, and then I was just like, oh, my God, because he's going to add the perfect level. Like, he can just be funny without even trying to be funny. Um, so, yeah, I'm so, so, so excited. Oh. I know, I know, but here's the thing. I have a lot of faith in Fred. I have so much faith in him. 
just his time on SNL, his time doing stand up, like the man's a beast. The man's a beast and he's he's going to do great. He's going to do great. I have seen all of the Adam Stanley movies. I've seen every episode of the Adam Stanley cartoon and thanks um I can't remember who sent it to me. But there was the one episode that I hadn't seen was the Fa Adams Family Scooby Doo crossover because it wasn't on any of the DVD sets because of um, a rights issue, and somebody sent me a link and I got to watch it online and it was amazing. It was great. It was great. Here's the thing: when I watch like these like remakes that are coming out of stuff, and the I guess I don't know if it's so much of a remake, like the spin-offs where they're focusing on one character. Like I saw the Velma um, trailer that's going to be on HBO. I'm very excited about that. Very excited for a dark, super dark, like murdery side of Scooby-Doo. Very, very excited about that. Um, but with all of those, you've got to look at them as standalone projects. Like, yes, you can compare them to what they're stemming from. But if you look at them as standalone projects, you can enjoy it better. Like, you know, that's, that's, that's how I look. That's how I look at things. Okay. That's how I look at things. But you know, I'm going to look at them the way I look at them. You look at them the way you look at them. Okay. Oh, there's so many things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sorry. I've got the Jeepers Creepers song stuck in my head. Cause I was listening to, um, my vinyl, my, my record player today. And I've got a whole bunch of, uh, Bing Crosby, um, which are McQuillums. I can't remember what it is, but, um, records. There we go. I still don't know words. And he, I was listening to the Jeepers Creepers on an old radio today and it was amazing. What are we doing? What are we, what are we, what are we, oh, I'm, so, I'm so lost. I'm so behind on chats. I'm so sorry. I'm over here trying to, trying to get everything set up because I didn't do it earlier. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> okay. okay. I just deleted everything. No, the Jeepers Creepers song. Like, Bing Crosby um, was the first to sing it. And he's he's one of my favorite oldies. My papa used to listen to him all the time. And I've got a whole bunch of his um, records. They're not records. I don't know what they're called. Are they 42s? They're the, the ones that break real easily. Um, but they play on my old Zenith. And I love them so much. So much, so much, so much. And that was my, that's been my evening. I got off work and I did that. And then I came, and then I bathed the dogs. Well, I came in here and I decorated, then I bathed the dogs, and now here I am. Where you at? You guys aren't here to hear about my movie. Dude, I love Jeepers Creepers. It's such a fun, fun, wacky time. Big old wacky time, you know. But I could see how someone could get upset spaghetti about it. Upsetty spaghetti. I don't want to hear about a crossover. I don't want to hear about a movie leak until it comes out in the news. Because if you hear about it in the leak, before they're supposed to make the announcement, so then you miss all the excitement of the announcement. That'll be great. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, also, if you are into the Wednesday things, um, Christina Ritchie's made her appearance today. In the, or not today, but in the trailer that was released at Comic-Con, she makes her appearance. And I got so excited. So. There's that. Okay. All right. I'm back, I'm back on track. I'm back on track, guys. Because you, you aren't here to listen to this. You guys are here for vampire movies. And the first the first movies we're watching today is Twins of Evil. Which I'm very excited about. All right, so Twins of Evil came out October third, nineteen seventy one. Um, the budget for this film was two hundred and five thousand sixty seven pounds. Yes. All right, they're forty fives. Thank you so much, Wayne. Thank you. I have a I have a Zenith that plays forty fives, and boy oh boy, boy oh boy. Um, wait, are forty fives the ones that break roll easily? Because mine aren't made, they're not made out of like vinyl. They're made out of something else that breaks and you can't find them anymore. Oh. Yes. That's all I can. That's not even neither here nor there. You guys aren't here to listen to me talk about my record player. Um, but I will, I, well, I can't bring it on stream, but I can take the camera in there one day and show it to you guys. And y'all can listen to them oldies with me. But I need to get one of the tubes replaced before because it's not sounding too great. But yeah. All right. So this movie is directed by John Hugh. Screenplay by Tudor Gates. And this is based off of characters by Sheridan Lefamo. Um, 
That's what it was produced by Michael Style and Harry Fine. Okay. Um, okay, what else do we have? What else do we have? Um, okay, this movie stars Peter Cushing. We love him. We're here for him. He's our, our, he's our, is he our hot whore daddy of the month? I think Peter Cushing is our hot whore daddy of the month. Or is it Christy Lee? Who did we decide on last week? All right, we'll do two this month. Um, so Peter Cushing's in this movie. He's one of the stars. We've got Dennis Price. We've got Madeline Collinson. Mary Collinson. That's what? They're twins? They're twins. All right. They're twins. And they dare I say they may be the twins of evil. <laughs> Who knows? We're going to have to find out together, though. Okay? We've also got um, Isabel Black, Kathleen Byron, Damian Thomas, and David Warbeck. Let's see all right, so synopsis of this movie. A religious sect led by Gustav Wheel hunts all women speculated of witchcraft, killing a number of innocent victims. Um, young Katie, Gustav's niece, is involved herself with the devilish cult, with a devilish cult, and became an instrument of justice within the reign. So we're going to see some, like, no, some, some, some lady, lady, Witches? I don't know. I thought this, this was supposed to be a vampire movie. This was listed under a vampire movie. So if it's not, I'm so sorry. But it is a hammer horror film. So let's get into it. So this movie was actually um, filmed using the same sets as Vampire Circus, which is the movie we're watching next. So we're watching movies filmed on the same set. Let's see if we can find things. We'll watch this one and watch the next one. Be like, oh my God, that's the wall that that dude got murdered against. Or like, oh my God, that's the... Same chair. I, I don't know. I don't know what same sets means. Does it mean like the same backdrops? Does it mean the same couches? We're going to find out. Okay. Okay. So. So Mary Collinson and Madeline Collison, the twins in this movie, they had very thick accents um, because they were, they had Maltese accents. All right. And in pure horror, uh, hammer horror fashion, um, they were dubbed by British acts uh, performers. So they're going to be doing the acting if their voices don't match up. <laughs> we love it. It's a horror, hammer horror classic. Um, they love the terrible dubbing. They love it. Uh, but hopefully just because they have, they're speaking English, they're just with that accent. Um, hopefully the British dubbing is done right and it's not all, you know, weird like it normally is. Now let's see what else we've got. Oh, so this is Peter Cushing's first film after the death of his wife, Helen. So um, he took a bit of an acting break after her passing, and this is the movie that he came back with. So we're gonna, I mean, he's not here anymore, but we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, good, good for him. Good for Peter Cush Cush. You know, he's out here doing his thing. Um, and what else do we have? This movie was filmed or released as a double bill with Hands of the Ripper, which came out in 1971 as well. And we will be watching that next month. It's on the lineup for November. So if you want to come back for more Hammer Horror, that's, that's the time to do it. Um, and just like the, it's been like this all month, um, actually the last like two months, you don't have to go anywhere um, for the movie because the movie's going to be over there and I'm going to be down there. Or is it the... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in a corner and the movie's gonna be like in this area. So just like buckle up. I'm you know risking prison for you, but just don't don't go anywhere. Remember remember snitches don't get invited back to the party. All right, snitches don't get to come back. But yeah, you don't have to do anything. You just hang out. You you sit right there looking all cutie but Tony. You sit right there looking all cutie but Tony. You hang out. And you're right. It is. It's hammer time. Oh, look at that hammer. No, that's not a hammer. That is, that's a mallet going into a gong. I'm, I'm a moron. <laughs> oh my God. A uh, Emma production. Let me know if the audio is too loud and I'll turn it down. Look at him riding the horse. Oh. Listen. There's no one. I hear them. They're 
there's people coming to kill us. <coughs> we jumped right in. Jumped right in. Cush -cush in this oh, movie. God. Have mercy on this poor, unfortunate creature. She is a child of the devil. He missed the but opportunity to say poor, unfortunate soul and then break out into song. Save her soul. We commend unto thee oh her earthly body and seek to purify its spirit. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my goodness. I always wonder how do they film these witch burning scenes in these movies? Like, is Others, it the trick of the camera? Let us pray. Like, how, is, how do they shoot that? 71. Twins of Evil. Host of Dennis Price. Okay, well I hope it's a perspective trick. So it looks like there's it looks like there's fire behind her as well, and I don't like it. But like we actually sacrificed the actress for what I've seen. <laughs> Look, the doctor can do anything he wants, guys. He can do anything he wants. Kids, you better not be seesawing on a tree that's witchcraft. Just waving down strangers. than a flat tire. Oh, look. That must be Carlstein Castle. It's beautiful. Just like a fairy tale. Whoever owns that must be rich. Who lives there? Count Carlstein. Carlstein. Count Carlstein. All right, the dubbing is okay in this one. We've never been here before. But it doesn't come from Venice. Oh, I know Fancy Hadley. They're out here. You know what's what? Heather. Feathers on your head. <laughs> Heathers. <laughs> That's what we're calling hat feathers from now on. Heathers. Oh, 
all those kids are just rolling around in mud, which has probably got poop in it. No. Did that lady just throw pee pee water on them? No. Maria. Oh. Frida. Oh. And Kathy. They I look swear cute. I'll never be able to tell the difference. You were both about that high when I last saw you. Those guys are great. Perhaps you'd like to go to your room now and change. Change? Your uncle will be back soon. Of course. You'd like us to look our best. Oh, no. I mean, yes. Well, that is, we do things differently from Venice, you see. No, I don't see at all. What I mean is that had you lived in Karnstein, you would still be wearing black. Why? But Aunt Kathy, it's not lack of respect. We wore black for more than two months, until last week. Okay. We do things differently here. Your uncle wouldn't like it. He's a very religious man. We didn't bring any black. Well, perhaps something more sober. Yes, of course, if you'd like it. Well, thank you, Maria. Okay. I'll show you your room. She's getting real sassy about the dresses. Just change, sweetie. Too late. What kind of plumage is this? Mm-hmm, plumage. Birds of paradise. Uh, Maria, Frida, this is your Uncle Gustav. Do you know the fourth commandment? Which one is that? Oh, oh my God, God, don't do that. And thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. Uncle, we didn't mean to offend you. So much plumage. Your parents are not yet cold in their grave. The one on the right looks like Millie Bobby Brown. Your room is at the top of the stairs. The door is open. I know they're twins, but the one on the right looks more like her than the other one. Gustav, I'll get you a meal. There's no need. Oh, look at those shins. It is a meeting of the Brotherhood. Well, let's see what Death they do about their plan. Two young men within the last ten days, and each victim bearing the mark of the devil. This place has been accursed for the evil of some who abide here. But the signs are plain. God is calling on us who believe in his holy word to stamp out that evil. Yes. Yes. To seek out the devil worshippers. And to purify their spirits. <laughs> if so you wear the plumage, you're heading for doomage. The seat of the Lord by burning them! Oh my god, we gotta be burning people. I know of one. <gasps> Speak, brother. There is a cottage in the woods. A young girl lives there alone, refuses to take a husband. They say she has many husbands. She's a creature of the devil. Wicked! Hey, Immoral. maybe she's just a single mom working three jobs and loving her kids. Okay. Why are you guys so, like, excited to murder people? I have a hairspray in my hair and I can't hold it. <laughs> Friday nights are for the Brotherhood! And so with Sundays. <laughs> what is that at nine o'clock? They think we were ten years old. We'd better put out the candles. Uncle Gustav might be back. Let him come. I don't care. I'm thinking about Aunt Kathy. She is yes. a feisty one. Of him. God, how would you like to be married to a man like that? I'm sure he means no harm. Oh, no. He's a man of God. Too good to be true. I know he's kind. What do you mean? I can just imagine. If he came back now and saw the lights on in here, that would give him an excuse to come in. Frida, what? don't you know men like that? Didn't you ever notice them in the park when we were little girls? With the funny staring eyes. 
afraid to stop it. You see if I'm not right. Do what? He keeps to find us doing something wrong, just to punish us. It would give him a thrill. I'm not to... going to let him. All right, but let me tell you, it's going to be hell living in this house. But what can we do? Uncle Gustav is our guardian now. He may be yours. He's not going to be mine. Not for long. I'm going away from here. Oh. I'll find a way. She's gonna hitch her ride with Satan. She puts on enough plumage, she can definitely get a ride. Who is this guy? Oh, hello. Out in the woods with no clothes on? My guy. I'm assuming he's got pants on, right? Oh my god, this fog. She's definitely a witch. What's the meaning of this vial? Oh, do they know each other? Out witch hunting again. You've come to the wrong place. Oh, yeah. We seek the servants of the devil. Well, you found one. Me. Oh. Now get out. Who is he? And how much do we want to bet that he's wearing a wig right now? Don't let them bother you. Some men like a musical evening. Vile and his friends find their pleasure through burning innocent girls. Innocent? Do not know the meaning of the word. Well, I know the meaning of the word intrusion. Do you? You are arrogant, Count Karnstein. Oh, Count because Karnstein. Because you have the protection of the court, of the emperor himself. But there is a higher authority. Tell that to the emperor. God will have his revenge. Mind he doesn't have it on you. Now get out! He's the barman. <laughs> Bear chested smoochy bandit. <laughs> Look at them. Gustav Weil and his brave band in search of women. <laughs> oh. Here. You can have Goethe if you like. If you want some excitement. You'll feel better then. You won't go around burning pretty My girls. Dude. My dude. My dude. Is this a gun? Are you about to shoot Gerda? <gasps> kush kush. Oh. Okay. Hello. Let him shoot, Joachim. The Emperor will hang them all. Public hanging They're in the magic? square, Vile. Having... You mustn't have all the pleasure yourself. Just a hot bodyguard. Everyone enjoys a good hanging. Just no shirt, just Pray oiled for up. Me, Vile. That's what you're supposed Lurking to do. Lurking in sinners, the shadows, waiting to jump out and say. Pray that. for me! Imagine believing in something so much you were willing to hunt and burn people for it. Oh no. Oh no. Someone getting murdered in the center. Yes. Or the other getting sacrificed for Satan in the cemetery. Satan sacrifices. Every Monday night at the Weird Cemetery, just outside the town. Oh. oh, look at his face. Drained of blood. Oh, there are the empires in this movie. Yes, I'm afraid. The devil has struck again. Not 
the devil himself, but his servants. She lives not two kilometers from here. You see, I warned you. Bro, you were just at her house. How do you think she... And you're on horses. Oh, so she's a little busy. Tied up, pun intended. The Lord will light our path. Let us ride! Now you're done. Now you're done. Now you're decadent. Their whole lives are devoted to sinful pleasures. The pursuit of lust. Is it any wonder that the devil comes to us? Let us mount up. That God's will shall prevail. Amen. Frida. Shh. Their wickedness will not be tolerated long. The Lord will send word to his servants. Do not doubt it. Gustav, be careful. The Count has important friends. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's friends with Satan. Sinners, every one of them. They meet at the castle and hold debauched gatherings. Men and women strip naked, they say. Oh. <laughs> this twin likes Practice that. The black arts. They worship the devil. They're all slaves to Count Karnstein, and he is their evil master. They shall Don't not... Stop the girls, please. The sooner Karnstein is exposed to what he is, the better it will be for everyone. Why, 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 were you, were, were you dead? Did you die? Over our were you unalived for a bit? Over our lives. Yeah, no. Girls... I mean, I, I don't know much about justice Karnstein's and how they how it's served, but I mean, she, she lives nearby. She's got to be her. Ceremonies. Karnstein, let us go. Murray, come and look. Murray's like, nope. You can see the light of the castle from here. Do you know what I want more than anything else? What? To meet Count Karnstein. <laughs> oh, well, I think he wants to meet you too, sweetie. With cheekbones like that, you know he's a vampire. He has to be. Centaur days, normal. Oh, well, she's naked. Oh, I think Your Excellency is pleased with the entertainment? He's calling up the devil. Well, so can I. Or you. But will the devil come? Fresh blood. The guts of a chicken or a suckling pig. 
The devil won't be cheated as easily as that, Dietrich. Your Excellency is pleased with the girl? A peasant, bought for a few oh. gold coins. Can you never find anything new, <coughs> different? No matter what I try. Uh, they say that Gustav Weil has two pretty nieces staying mm. with him. Twins? That would be something different. Your Excellency is pleased to joke. We do not want trouble with a man like Weil. Oh, the black taper candles. I don't know why I employ you, Dietrich. You bore me personally. And everything you do for me, I find tedious. Including this charade. Oh, he's rubbing blood on her underboob? What? Did Satan like that? Look, he is possessed. Is this your manifestation of the devil? Look, I've exorcised him. You are charlatans, all of you. Get out! Like, get the fuck out of my house, you're fake. Cult members. Try to hurt this poor lady. No. Leave her. Oh. Of course. And now go. Yes, at once. Your Excellency knows that I endeavor to do my utmost to please him. They knew. They didn't play at being wicked. They worship the devil and he taught them delights that you will never know. Okay. Of punishment. Inflicting and receiving it. Of torture. And death. Yes. Of death. And of pleasures beyond the grave. Something you could not even comprehend. But hmm. I know. Go, Dietrich. Good night, my lord. I'm just, I'm so impressed by it. His hair or the wig or the toupee that he's got on. It's just so voluptuous. Oh, are you going to kill her? No, you're not gonna kill him? Okay. <gasps> oh, mm, mm, maybe? Possibly? <laughs> Please, he needs some sentinels in his life. Oh, Lord of Darkness. Just pin a head, I up. am weary of this world bitch? and its pathetic pleasures. Teach me to reach beyond the flesh. Reveal yourself to me that I may bow down before you and be your servant. Give me the power to do your evil. No, no, please. No. Oh, so of my faith, I offer you this woman. <laughs> oh, he went there. Holy Satan! shit. It must suck when Satan leaves you on red Satan! right after you killed someone for him. It's the worst. Satan! Oh. I had you even got the lightning on you, my guy. I would say they really need to fix the cracks in the floor, but I think that this is a good thing. Uh oh. When the candles get blown out in your big giant castle.
this a ghost? Okay. Mikana. Oh, sweet. We gotta get some kind of about those, those tablets. Frida, what are you doing? Nothing. Just looking. The storm is beautiful. And when the lightning flashes, you can see Karnstein Castle. Frida! Can you please stop being concerned about this castle? Mikana. It's gonna get you killed. Wait, is that like your grandma or something? He sent you? Yes. Must I give my life? Your soul. Your body remains on Earth. You will be of the undead. When? Now. A little... Wait, oh, why? You, there, you can't fuck your grandma, dude. If he's the Count, and she was the Countess that died years ago, that means they're related, right? Or can you just be made a Count? For no, oh, I don't want to know. Don't do the family math. Ooh, feet. Those are your grandma's feet, dude. Stop. She's gonna kill you. Oh. <laughs> we all know what that means. Oh. She's gonna kill him with the candlestick? No? Yep, nope, she's Countess Karnstein. She's his grandma. I can't see you. We are the undead, and the mirror sees only the living. We walk the earth, but we exist. Oh no. Hell. You can't fuck it. <gasps> Dude, that's your grandma. Or like your great great grandma. Or like maybe your great 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 grandma. But even still, you're related, my dude. Oh, that was quick. Hold up there. All right. All right, man. Just wait a bit. The boar hunters are coming through this way. We're not far from the village now. <laughs> They're hunting the boar. Okay. I'm like, who's this hunky boar hunter? There's nothing to be afraid. 
afraid of. It's just the men of the village out hunting. That awful sound. They're killing the boar, you see. Don't worry. Yep, it's a double teacher tonight. It's a hammer horror vampire double feature. Oh, she's knitting, she's knitting, and then that one's drawing, Hello. painting, Hello. writing, this is reading, and Frida. <coughs> drawing. Oh. I shall never be able to tell one from the other. This is Ingrid Hoffer, who runs the school here. Her brother Anton is the choir master. I'm sorry that Anton isn't here, he's hunting. Oh, we passed him learning. on the way. I expect he won't be long. They're coming now. Oh, she's in there, Girl. Antoine. Places. What is there to look at? You've seen the men coming back from hunting before. Oh, Shall we sit down? The girls are always happy for any excuse to stop work for a few moments. I expect you two are just the same. Oh, oh who's this Come cutie patootie? Oh, he only has eyes for Come her. On. Anton, this is Frida and this is Maria. No, no, I'm Frida. I'm Maria. I can't tell the difference between them. Nor can I, but it seems Anton can. What do you mean? Well, just look at him. I saw you ride by. While you were hunting? Yes. Oh. It seems to be everyone's occupation here. Hunting of one kind or the other. What do you mean? Boars in the morning and witches at night. Oh. oh who told you about that? No one told me anything. I listened. To your oh. uncle? Yes. Don't blame me for that. I take no part in it. Don't you? No. I think it's barbaric. But superstition dies very hard here. You wouldn't understand. I don't want to. I hate it here. Your uncle is misguided, perhaps. She is just diving right in with this guy she just met. Perhaps I don't like good men. Anton! Oh, look at the painting of uh, the Queen Elizabeth shine. above the... I told her you were the expert. Stuff, fireplace. Fuck! It's all here, Maria. My brain's still melted. Look, I'll show you. And there he is. Look at him in his little vampire colors. And it's still a mystery. Myths and magic are interwoven for the peasants of Karnstein. Dude, I passed out. Right, I was only able to sleep for like six, eight hours. But I slept for 12 hours last night. It was pretty dope. Where's Frida? Sir! This is my niece. It is a pleasure to make her acquaintance. My words were not an introduction. But a warning. Oh, a warning. At once. Kush, kush, Big Daddy mad right now. Or Big Uncle mad, we should say. Sir, you are impertinent. I am not a peasant. And I acknowledge only one lord. Oh. Both my nieces will be instructed never to speak to you again. <laughs> that makes him want them even more, Kush Kush. Haven't you got us into enough trouble? No supper and early to bed. Is that all you ever think about? Yourself? Don't be so greedy. But if anyone comes and finds you gone, there will be a terrible scene. No one is going to notice, stupid. I don't know what you're complaining about. All you have to do is go to sleep. I'm not asking you to come with me. I wouldn't dare. I know you wouldn't. 
You're scared of your own shadow and terrified of dear Uncle Gustav. Yes, I am. Well, I'm not. I don't care if he does find me gone. The cult will protect me. Frida, I beg you, think about what you're doing. Everyone says he's a wicked man. What about it? Who wants to be good if being good is singing hymns and praying all day long? He's doing what's best for us, I'm sure. Mm. It might well, be best I mean, for you. Well, I do what's best for him, sweetie. It's not for me. I'm going, and you might as well stop arguing about it. And I warn you, if you dare tell on me, Frida, <coughs> you know I wouldn't do that. I'm just telling you. You know what will happen if you do. Stop oh it, you're God. hurting me. Not half as much as I will if you don't keep quiet. <coughs> Oh, you hurt your sister. They're all in bed now. No one will notice. And don't lie awake waiting for me. And don't worry. I shan't be long. Frida, I beg you, don't yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, it's him a horror time. I've warned you once. You know what he'll do to you if you make any trouble. Don't you? Don't you? I'll be waiting. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy the movie. Tell me what happens when I'm gone. To Satan. You're not amusing us tonight. What's wrong? It, it is nothing, my lord. It must be something. Don't make a secret of it. Tell us. Uh, perhaps a little later, my lord, in private. It is a personal matter. Ah. <laughs> a young lady, I'm sure. What is it? Did she run away from you? She disappeared two nights ago. I do not know what happened. Disappeared. Then it must have been your magicians. Perhaps their spells really did work. Her parents blame me. You must have a very bad reputation, Dietrich. They are threatening to report to the authorities. They had better not do that, Dietrich. It might be very bad for you. You must pay them. All peasants are insatiably greedy. Aren't they, my dear? Come. No more of your love life, Dietrich. It's too boring. Joachim, more wine. What are we doing? Oh God, is she about to get turned in? Is she about to, okay. Oh my God, the smoochy bandit's bodyguard? Oh, is he a vampire now too? Really? Everyone's so dull this evening. Go. Oh my God, is he meeting Gam? You're She's meeting Gam Gams! <gasps> It's your first pleasure, day. Okay. I'll go. No, it is not my pleasure. Don't judge me. I haven't eaten today. So I'm gonna eat a pop chart. 
I want to know what you think of Frida. Don't you think she's beautiful? Is Game Games getting jealous of she's Frida? She's all right. That's not a very handsome compliment. You're not jealous, I hope. I am a simple peasant girl, my lord. We can be bought for a few pieces of gold. Now you're being insolent, girl. Get up. Silence, Dietrich. You need to be taught a lesson. Chloe, you? you're fine. Yeah. Then we'll punish her together. No! My lord, I apologize. If you'll permit me to leave. Sweetie, you can't leave. You're like a vampire. You're Kim. Oh. oh my god. The hot bodyguard has got a wig on. Guys. You don't mind, do you? If we play with Goethe? Wait, where's Game Games? Are very beautiful. Oh no. For you all pleasure should be supreme. Okay. And what one mean? supreme pleasure is to take a human life. <laughs> what? For our pleasure, we must pay. Will you pay? Louis, stop. I wish Louis wanted to protect me from Satan. Look, Louis just big see? daddy mad because he had a bath. <gasps> and he's not allowed to go outside right now. We are the so he's whining. Immortal. No man can harm us unless he bothers the bear to our hearts back up. or beheads us. No one is protected from us and unless the they hold the hated card. cross. You're a vampire. Yes. I can savor the most extreme of Satan's delights. I can feed on the blood of a human victim. No. Louis is no. fine. He okay, is he's fine. One who is dedicated to the devil and his deeds will not die by a vampire. And he doesn't fight, smell that anymore. So become one of win, the win undead, a vampire. The good and the innocent die. Louis doesn't smoke up with soda water. Oh my gosh, she's a vampire now! Oh, I have a two-person jacuzzi tub, that's why I live in this house, and pay the rent that I do. Um, because I can actually fit both dogs in the bathtub at the same time. Do I? No, we get separate baths, but... Oh my gosh, he's a vampire! Um, but no. Louis doesn't soak up a lot of water. Barrett does. Barrett no. has, like, German Shepherd fur, so... <laughs> it's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Louis is pretty, pretty easy to dry off. Oh gosh, she's gonna eat that lady. Oh no. <laughs> well, okay. She went in for a little nap. <laughs> Mind the nip slip. Oh no, no. Oh. I feel like the you know, the witch hunters may be crouching over the vampires. Killing all the peasant girls. Another funeral pyre. Another sacrifice. They are frightened. Is that an excuse for wanton cruelty? Five people have been found dead. Three others have disappeared. And three young girls have been burned at the stake. Add those lives to the total. Anton, I know how you feel. No, you don't. You think I'm just angry. But it's more than that. I feel sick with fear and revulsion against myself. Anton. Yes, because I'm such a coward. 
Why are you a carrot? Carrot all time? Is it because you're just sitting there not doing anything? How much longer can decent people stand oh, by and watch this reign of terror by Gustav Vile and his religious friends? But what can we do? Well, I know some of those poor girls were innocent. I'm yeah, sure they were. But anyone poor? Living alone and not a devoted member of the church. Anyone young and pretty, because then their morals are questionable. But Gustav has young and pretty nieces. Ah, under his protection. Mm -hmm. Probably just as well. We have a great many admirers. <laughs> Frida in particular. Did you think I wouldn't notice, Anton? I'm afraid it's rather obvious. Well, why Frida, though? Anton. Maria seems much nicer to me. Since one can hardly tell the difference between them. Oh, I can. Maria is very nice, probably much nicer than Frida. But Frida has a kind of fire inside her. I can almost feel it burning when I'm near to her. And she has a strange, mysterious quality. Maria is like an open book. And she's a vampire now, Frida, my dear. One feels you could go on learning about her forever. I suppose it depends on what there is to learn. Still, it's a very romantic notion. The only trouble is... What? If you want to court Gustav Bile's niece, you'd better not offend him. You can't offend the witch hunter. Do you think Someone's he's unethically hunting witches? What, see siblings getting along like that? Frida, that's Uncle Gustav. He only just got back in time. Well, she can run fast now because she's a vampire. Who cares? I may leave here altogether soon. Although, in a way, I like having an hmm. uncle as my protector. Frida, you must stop it. Uncle Gustav is bound to find out soon. I can't keep covering up for you. You should turn your sister into I a don't vampire. want to. Just for shits and giggles. You will do what I tell you. But it was only luck he didn't find out today. He knew you weren't here. He what? Oh, it was all right. I pretended to be you. And he can't tell the difference between us. That's all right, then. Except that he thrashed me with his belt. Because he said I was telling lies. About not knowing where you were. Oh. Where you were? Yes. And tomorrow I'll get beaten again for being me because I wasn't home at dusk. Oh, oh poor Maria. It isn't fair. I think tomorrow you ought to pretend to be me. If he ever touches me, I'll kill him. Well, sweetie. Frida, what's happened to you? Ever since you went away that night, you seem like a different person. Yes. She is a different person. She's a bloodlusting, reflectionless psychopath now. Before, she was just a psychopath. Get ready to go out now, girls. Lovely song, Anton. We'll leave you to finish it in peace. Right? Come on. Louie, you're fine. <laughs> Anton, a visitor for you. Why don't you sit down? No. Oh, I've seen you lusting over my niece. Dude, he is. He's having like a, a temper tantrum. I can hear him like stomping his feet. Complaining of my ungodly behavior. Yes. 
And then now he's sticking his head in the room. <laughs> They have written to me, asking that I investigate whether you are a servant of the devil. Right, I'm gonna have to go deal with my dog. <laughs> I think. Lou. You are fine. You read a great deal? Yes. And he's, just, he's just being a borky boy. Magic. Vampires. I study history and superstition as a part of it. Superstition? Superstition? Do you not believe in the existence of the devil? I believe that wickedness exists in every man. Then tell me yeah. now. Dude, I'm not letting him on the couch. He's wet right now. Mm -mm. Not in the cruel mm -mm. and vengeful being that you believe in. Which must always take a life for a life. Only purifies. Not if you know but anything not. about vampires. Because he's so wet. By burning that. you char the body. The soul will only recreate itself in another body and continue with its carnage. Only a stake through the heart or decapitation can end their torment of evil. If vampires exist. Oh, vampires. You know that Vampires. Exist. There are many things even men of learning do not understand. Ever interfere with the ways of the Brotherhood again? You will suffer. Oh, he interfered. Oh no. Take care, Anton. He was like, so this would be a bad time to ask if I could take your niece out for like dinner sometime. <laughs> and your sisters. Oh, did he just threaten his sister? I can't get over these like pilgrim get up. Come unto my great heart for my heart and the sea and the heaven are melting away. Now he's making her a mixtape. That's so sweet. I'm sure you must be sending me away for some other reason. Quite a sudden concern for Aunt Heidi. I'm worried about her. She must be ill. She would have written. Anyway, a few days away will do you good. But I'm all right. It's you who seem nervous and upset. So why don't you go? And what about the school? Oh, I can take the girls. For crochet work? For extra choir practice. All right. I'll go. But I think you want to be left alone with someone. And I can guess who. <laughs> what else did he say? I don't know. I didn't hear it all. Aunt Kathy shut the door. Something about everyone going on trial from now on for complicity with the devil. Oh. So that the whole village can see how just and lawful they are, I suppose. But he didn't threaten Anton. I'm not sure. He had some kind of a grudge against him. <laughs> what do you care? I'm gonna go separate. Are you in there. love with him? <laughs> <laughs> father, I don't know. Get the rest of the demon <laughs> seem to be. But being mom know. is. <clears throat> All right, Louie. Frida. Frida. You won't go out tonight, will you? Please. I get so frightened. Don't you realize, if I stayed, I might... Oh, leave me alone. Wow. 
Oh, they're great. They're the best. 10 out of 10 would recommend to get two large dogs. They're just far apart enough in age that they get on each other's nerves all the time. She's a little vampire trick. I feel like she's doing a little vampy trick. A little vampire. She's doing something. Uh oh. Oh, I would see. Look at that pinky ring. find him in there. I regret my sister cannot be present this morning. An aunt of ours in the next village is taken sick. I hope she'll be back this afternoon, but in the meanwhile, I shall be taking her classes. Oh. However, as I'm not really competent to instruct you in the art of needlecraft, we should be having extra choir practice instead. Sir, can we have your song? Well... Please. All right. Is it a hymn, sir? My father only allows us to sing hymns. It's a uh, kind of a hymn. Ready? It's a hymn for a lady. So, schoolmaster, you do not believe in the devil. What's the meaning of this? I demand an explanation. Also, no, I, my dogs are not deceived. Gustav, what kind of a charade is this? A victim of the they vampires you spawned. Will squash me. They sometimes this are allowed to This is a schoolhouse, not a burial place. And then I always You're regret disgusting, it. You're disgusting, barbaric, all of you. Oh, God, is now get out! Sister? These girls are all our kin. We leave to you the training of their voices. But we teach them the path to God and the byways of the devil. No, I forbid it! Let them all see. Learn your lesson, choir master. Louis has a Tempur-Pedic dog bed. Barrett also has a Tempur-Pedic dog bed, but he chooses to sleep on his pillow top dog bed. They are both spoiled. They also have a couch, and Child, Barrett has a arm chair that he likes to lounge in. Louis doesn't fit in the armchair. Maria? Or is it Frida? Well, she's like, come here and find out. would be very angry. She's like, I don't care. Come here with that big daddy pilgrim neck. She's gonna... Uncle, save me. It was terrible. We were attacked by vampires. I only just escaped. <sighs> He's like, you are a vampire. There is blood on your lips. It came from a vampire. He tried to kiss me. Uncle, please, you've got to believe me. <sighs> oh, no. You can't believe me. Sent me twins of evil. <gasps> oh no! To the Our jail. getting blamed. <laughs> I feel like she could totally get away. Kosh Kosh is waiting on the other one to come downstairs. Oh, what's he gonna do? No! I won't let you go near that child. Frida, yes, I can believe anything of her. A lot has happened that you don't know about. It might have been better if I had known. Why? So that you can beat the devil out of her? Yes. 
That's have not you ever thought that you might have helped to beat the devil into her? The young must be chastised. I will not let you touch Maria. Maria has done nothing wrong. She's been a scholar in a saint. Brotherhood will want to see her. Then let them see her now, asleep. Asleep. And clasping the Holy Cross to her breast. And you'd call her a daughter of the devil. Oh. I asked the apothecary to give her a potion to calm her. The way you appeared, ranting and raving, I was fearful for her state of mind. Woman, in what state of mind do you think I was? Oh, Truly, I cannot moment. imagine. Both of them becoming parents at this stage in their life. <laughs> it's a lot of stress. I have tried always to be a good man. Mm -hmm. Yes. You've tried. But you haven't been. Frida, what will become of her? Well, we gotta stay, girl. Can nothing be done for her? The spirit exorcised. The Brotherhood. I know. When you have twins of evil, it's just a really hard time. There's no parenting books on it. Kush, kush, you left your belt, babe. Your pants are going to fall down. What are you with the Brotherhood? It's going to be really embarrassing. That door no. is gorgeous, okay? Frida, don't go. No, oh, sweetie. Please. She's having a little nightmare. Not to that man. He's wicked. Count Karnstein. Oh, Frida. the aunt knows. Count Karnstein. She's like, I know how to help Don't go you. to the castle. Not tonight. Please. Oh no, the count's coming. No! So in this scene, <clears throat> okay, this may not be the scene. Am I gonna, am I? Oh, good for her, good for her. Grows late. In the scene where he bit her Why sister, delay any he longer? actually broke his face. Let us burn her now. But we agreed only two scene. days ago that we would hold a trial. Yeah. What is that to hear? Weren't we really all there? Just because she's Gustav's niece. Brother, pray that your family may not be stricken. And where is Gustav? He's right there. He's ready. Sweetie, you can't get out. Unless your count comes to save you. In yeah. which case. Yeah. Oh no, don't yeah. let it go. <gasps> don't let it go. I... 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 <laughs> no, she's gonna drop it. <laughs> Kidnapping all the ladies. Guilty. Guilty. Then she must burn. Can you kill a vampire by burning? I'm coming. I'm coming. Look into my eyes. 
When did he get this power? Because he could have used it so many other times. <gasps> oh, they're just body swapping her. Oh my god, no! <gasps> Maria now, unsuspected, good and kind and virginal. Think of the havoc you can cause. Quickly, we must change them. Oh no, poor sister. We almost got a nip slip. We must hurry. Your uncle and his Puritans are on their way here. Brothers, we have seen death enough this night. <laughs> I know, the old switcheroo. No. Why give the devil time to come to the aid of his servants? Burn her now. So be it. Dude, it's too late. It's too late. Gustav! How many just heard? True about Frida. Oh my god, it is though. Yes. But it's madness. What proof of you? Oh, he's gonna Any be the one that knows. The he's proof know. of our own eyes. Oh no. All of us. But Maria. All of us saw her, you know, eating you Greg in the Frida, in the woods. Maria too. Can't get you can do her. nothing for Frida. Maria is at the house. So Millie Bobby Brown lives another day. But she's got to find it. And weird. Trial bile. Oh, are they gonna save? I feel like they're gonna save them. They can't. They can't. They can't Trial murder bile. the wrong girl, right? If proof were needed, look how the devil's own sleep, careless of their sins. Are we going to think about the fact that she's knocked out? Maria? Maria. Maria? Maria. Maria. No, oh, he's going to know. You know, oh, dude, do you not know? She can do the weird eye thing too? I thought he was going to be the one to save the day. No. Not yet. No. Why not do that to cross the cross test? You know, make sure she. Ma'am, 
is he gonna figure out that it's not her? He's like, nope. 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 He's he knows it's her. Okay. Oh, now he knows. Now he knows. The cross, the cross is on the ground. The cross is on the ground. Just get it. Get The devil's boogly over this, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, she's gonna get, she's gonna get burned to the stake. On your mind. No, my guy, my guy, my guy. Hold up a holy cross and see if either of us flinch. Oh, okay. Oh, look at him out, smart and gush gush. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, and Coach Crusher's like, I am not fit to be a father. Maria! 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 Wait! Where is her sister? With Count Karnstein. Oh, Lord. And Coach Crusher's like, the time has finally come. Lord, forgive me. Will you dare burn him? Yeah! yeah. But the Emperor would send soldiers to burn our homes, our churches. Oh, yes. You're very quick to ride out into the forest. To seek out a young girl or a mad old man. Mm -hmm. Anyone you can use as a convenient sacrifice to your conscience. And when it comes to the great lord of the castle, though you know he worships evil, you hesitate. We are not yeah, because we could get in trouble. We serve you know? the lord. He is our protection. Then let him be your protection. And seek out the evil you fear where it really is. And the castle on the hill. Where the Karnsteins have practiced every evil known to man for centuries. With their master, the devil. Yeah. Then why doesn't the emperor act? Gosh. Because every man, king or peasant, is afraid of the devil. But there comes a time when courage must outweigh fear. The time and is now. belief in the Lord must be. Not a pious belief. But a reality. In the face of death and damnation. Yeah. If Count Karnstein is a vampire, then no ruler on earth will save him! Yeah. No! Burning what? is useless! Fire will not vanquish vampires! You must stake them through the heart or cut off their heads! <laughs> Sharpen the end of your wooden stakes! Use tells. lances! Axes! Bear bear. Your 
You're okay, Bubba. Is it true? The stake through the heart? I mean, I got, I did an amazing speech. Amazing. Turns the, the best, if I've ever heard one. Bear to grace. If one spark of spirit remains in the heart. Yes. What is it for Oh, all the sharpening and... Uh, mach I don't really have knife like this. Machetes? Bubba, you're okay. Hey, Barrett. God hey, Barrett. He's with our call to the castle. Are you frightened of that lovely white flesh burning in their fires of purification? Yes. 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 I would be scared. Oh, we get set on fire. Let us go quickly. Why? Yeah, Barrett was. He's like, fire let me show you this speech. Up. It will melt our bodies, but without pain. We will just laugh at them and find new bodies and new victims. They don't know, but they know how to kill her. Also, where was Graham Grimm's in all of this? The Gam Gams, she was... She was all about, you know, earlier. And now she's gone. I don't think there's no horses. No people. I hate horses, but... Yes, Joachim, we know they are okay. coming. We are waiting for them. They have crosses. And stakes. And stakes. And axes. Yes. Be scared. Anton! <laughs> Why are you taking it out on her? No. We will take the old tunnel. Come! Why would you slap her, my guy? No, Joachim. Someone must hold them off. You must go that way. No. Oh. This is hard. Oh. 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 See the women stay back here. We must guard every tunnel. Kahnstein must be found. No, wait. We must find Kahnstein first. Follow me. Hey, you know, if you want quality, you gotta pay for it, okay? Those cakes back in the day cost a pretty penny. I bet you they're still around. And that shelf is costing the when I was in uh, elementary school. And I know it was pretty expensive. Split that wig. Split that... Oh my god, look at that book. go first. And I'll keep watch. I know. R.I.P. to that loyal, loyal man. He didn't deserve to die that way. I like her. I did not think it was gonna go that quickly. That's a really cool shot though with the skull. Oh my god, you ain't gonna look at her face after you chopped her little head off. Oh, but you are gonna cover up with your cape, oh. 
What a good uncle you are. Take her to the chapel. What is it, child? What's the matter? I don't know. I suddenly felt terrible pain, but something's happened to Frida. I must find her. No, wait. Oh, Frida's dead. Right, you two over there. The rest of you spread out. Oh, no. Can't for some time get to get her now. Frida is dead. Oh. You must take Maria back to the village. Maria is gone. Where? She went to find her sister. Oh, God. You must find her quickly. Why don't you go with her? Help her find her sister. Oh, no. <gasps> She's going to become a vampire. Sweetie, this isn't Cinderella time. All right, you are not Prince Charming. It is time to run away. Who are you going to pull? What are you going to do? Are you going to barter with her? Trust in God. <laughs> now, join your sister. No! Oh, yes. <gasps> Gustav. I Don't have kush, kush getting up here. A long time for this moment. And I, too. <laughs> Is he going to do it? Is he going to win? Just one blow, vile, and it must be here, or you will join the devil's souls. <laughs> oh no! Push, push, no! Push, push. No! I don't know why this is giving me like Scooby Doo vibes right now. Oh no, Maria, you no! Know? Oh. That's not as hard. You better chop his head off when you get up there, my dude. Just a little spit up. I feel like that was for show. I don't, I don't think he's really, really dead. Ew. Okay, he's dead. Oh.
little too much for me. feel about Kush Kush dying. I mean, did he did he deserve it? Because, you know, he's out there, like, murdering half the town. Um, I mean, karma's a bitch. Uh, but, did I want Kush Kush to die? No. Am I happy the vampires died? Yes. I still want to know where Gangans is, you know? Did Grandma, like, go to another town? What did she do? Where did she go? Is she just after, like, wreaking, wreaking havoc with people? Is she meeting up with other vampire friends? What is she doing? so many questions it's the biggest plot hole of all of this i mean yeah he was out here like burning women he thought were witches with no light like, trial or like any way to test his theory just out there just murdering <coughs> murdering for no reason just murder because it's a monday you know oh i know i wanted him in a very like, I love when we have a good anti-villain, which Peter Cushing, uh, Vinny P, Chrissy Lee, they all do a very good job of being, like, the anti-villain within stories. And while this was an anti-villain role, I, it wasn't enough for me to, like, be cheering for him outside of the fact that, like, I was more cheering for the sister that wasn't a vampire than I was for him. He just kind of, like, weaved into being onto her side, so, yeah. Is this my favorite Peter Cushing movie? No. But it was okay. It was it was there. It was good. It was okay. It was okay. I mean, I'm not mad about it. Not mad about it. Not mad at all. Alright guys, we're gonna take a quick little break Rooney. I'm gonna say like ten minutes. Ten minutes house. Um see how long is how long is Vampire Sunday? Oh yeah, guys. We've got about ten minutes. Go do go go do what you gotta do. We got a little drink of water. Glass whatever you're doing. A little sip sip, take your big daddy piss, okay? Be back here 10 minutes at uh, 12 17 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be starting Vampire Circus. So I'll see you guys in a few. Oh, wait, oh, oh. Wait, the, the threading, what? What? I know, he did, he did decapitate a vampire. That was his niece. It was pretty badass. It was pretty badass. So you gotta think about it. It's gotta take like internally you gotta process that shit are you cross stitching <gasps> serious what are you cross stitching what are you making what are you making you answer that but i'll be back 10 minutes so now at 12 18 we'll be back we'll start the second movie so go do what you gotta do take a big daddy piss and i'll see you in a minute
and we're back for Vampire Circus for the second half of tonight's Hammer Horror Vampire Double Feature. How was everybody's break? All right, so serious. Okay, I left. I left right when you were talking about your your hobby. So you're because you want a Halloween cross stitch. We're gonna need pictures. Well, once you get to a point where you want to show us pictures, I'm going to need you to post them in the Discord server so that I can see your creation. Because I'm a sucker for some cross stitching. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for cross stitch. I used to make cross stitches, um, but they were cross stitches that had like um, silly phrases on them, uh, like don't do coke in the bathroom. Um, and I gave them to friends for Christmas presents one year. And then I never did it again because it was my hyperfixation during the panorama that's my just silly way of saying pan, pan you, you know what i'm you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's fine all right guys so you're back you're back you made it back in time for the second movie of the night which is gonna be vampire circus dun 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 uh more vampires more ham horror we're here you know we're not gonna get more of no more peter kush kush peter kush kush was only in the first movie or any of our hot whore daddies in this one, none that I recognize. But you know what? That gives us an like gives us an activity to do. We have to pick our hot whore daddy out of this movie, okay? And then I'll do a little hot horror, little little hot whore daddy, little little post about him later. I'll add him to my list to do. Oh, he turns like the floss from the string. Ooh, that doesn't. I don't. There's floss and string. Why is there floss in the string? Oh, it's cheap string. Okay. I don't know what series I wish you the best of luck the best of luck with all of that because it just sounds it sounds not fun it's not fun but vampire circus what do we have tonight this movie came out April 30th 1972 in the UK and October 11th 1972 in the US with this being a hammer horror film it was filmed in the UK and it was filmed on the same set as twins of evil which is the last movie we watched this sequel is the one we just watched. We just watched it, okay? Um, this one is directed by Robert Young with screenplay by Justin, not Justin, Judson um, Kinberg. Story is by George Baxt and Wilbur Stark. And the movie is produced by Wilbur Stark and our favorite producer, our favorite producer, Michael Carreras, rearing his head. All right, he's out here just throwing money at more Hammer Horror projects and we love him for it, okay? This movie stars... Um, Andrew, Andreen, Andreen. I haven't seen that one before. Andreen Corey. We've got Anthony Higgins, John Mulder Brown, Lynn Frederick, Lala Ward, or Layla Ward. I don't know which way we're going to go with it. It's L A L L A. Oh, okay. And we got Robin, Robin Sachs. <laughs> ah, we're here. So, synopsis of this story. As the plague sweeps the countryside, a quarantined village is visited by a mysterious traveling circus. Soon, young children begin to disappear, and locals suspect the circus troops might be hiding a horrifying secret. What could that secret be? I don't know. Are they vampires? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they just call it vampire circus and they're actually werewolves. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Uh, so, according to various books on Hammer Films, this film went over schedule and it was shot in six weeks. I don't know how it could be over, over, you know, over schedule if it was shot in six weeks. Six weeks seems, seems, sounds very, very, very reasonable. Fucking shit words are hard. Um, but it went over schedule and some key scenes were never filmed. But Rank called it Hammer's best film in years. So we're going to see if it is the best film in years when we watch it later together. A little, a little cult, a little culty kiddos. Yeah, not my circus, not my vampires, okay? Not my circus, not my vampires. Except tonight it is because this is a very important movie. I mean, I, you get cotton candy at this at the circus and there's popcorn, right? They, they have that at the circus. I, I haven't been to a circus since I was like a kid. Are the, the circuses still aren't around anymore, are they? See, you know, the animal stuff. I'm trying to think. Like the the circus people get jobs out of the out of the out of the circus. That's that's a good thing. I don't know. I'm pulling shit out of my ass over here. Excuse me. 
let's see what else we have. So Lawrence Payne was a, an 11th hour casting choice replacing Anton Rogers, who dropped out because of illness. What sort of illness? I don't know, but he's dropped out. So poor Anton was too sick to be in the best Hammer Horror film in ages. Oh, what was the, what was the, what was the circus that retired all those animals? Just like, no, Wrigley's is gum. Was it Ripley's? No, that's Ripley's, believe it or not. I don't know who it is, but I know one of the circuses retired all their animals. Okay, let's see here. Barty's, I don't know. All I know is there was an elephant at the circus when I went as a kid. That's all I know. And I was very confused as to how they got the the, the, the elephant to my town to get into the circus and do the circus things. And then they took it to the next town. And in my brain, my dumb, dumb little brain, I was like, they have a car that the elephant has to fit in. Not that it was on a truck. Come on, big old idiot. Okay, they saw Ridley Brothers Circus. Oh, Ringling Brothers, that's what it is. The Ringling Brothers. Oh, goodness. I remember the, the yeah, like the, the, the tightrope walking people. They were not a thing. Barnum and Bailey. Oh, I think Barnum and Bailey was one too. Are there circuses still around? Let me, there's my phone, there's my phone. Let me see. Are there still circuses in the U.S.? Are circuses? The circuit circus. This is this is still a thing in the U.S. So a bold new circus is opening in Virginia, and it was there from November eighteenth, twenty twenty one, to January 9th, twenty twenty two. Um. It says that there are still circuses. But Ringling Brothers did retire all of their elephants to a Florida wildlife sanctuary in 2016. So good for them. Good for them. Okay. Oh, so Ringling Brothers and Barham and Bailey Circus shut down in 2017. After a 146 run, 146 year run, holy shit. They were around forever. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Ringling Brothers Circus back after a five year hiatus without animals. So I guess there's just people doing tricks. You mean like the Russian, um, the Russian circus that was showing they had like holographic animals. They could do that. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. We're getting we're getting off topic. All right, because this circus, in this movie, I don't know if it's got animals, but what I do know, it's got vampires. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, nothing gold can stay. Well, it's stay gold, pony boy, but it's from the nothing gold can stay poem. Rabbit Frost. All right, yeah, y'all don't have to go anywhere because uh, I'm risking prison time for all of you kiddos. Here we go. On we go. Onward. <laughs> Just a dude with a whip <laughs> making another dude stand on a ball. Roswell, I don't think that's the circus. Oh... <laughs> Okay, so we've got a situation. Are his pants tied under his shoes? Okay, how, how are his pants staying like that? No, no one can keep me. No one can keep me.
pink heads. I don't think we should be over there. Worst babysitter ever. You already lost the kids. Oh my God, Creed and Gucci V, you made it. Just in time. What now? What are they? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. You do your daughter's dead, sir. Let's stand in the middle of the Holy fucking shit. He just came out of nowhere. He looks like Captain Hook back in the day. Or like a Prince Eric situation. Calvert's house? I'm Jenny. Jenny Shields. He goes, no, your dinner. Oh, okay, look at the jewelry choice. I'm about it. Bro, don't play with your food. Don't play with your food. Child is missing. <coughs> your child is missing. Yes. And now your child is missing. Yes. Peter, we've got to go on. We must. Don't you understand that? You've got to listen to me. We must go on. This man is evil. He's the cause of everything Albert. that's been. He's the Count. If we dare touch him, he'll have us all hanged. Your daughter's in there. I beg of you. What's and up my with wife, these Counts being Anna. vampires? Bro, your wife is a vampire lady. Is she about to turn into a vampire too? Anna. One last feeds the other. Tell him that we must go on. Well, as mayor, I say. He's doing a very dirty we should go on. Days. For the count to have us all hanged. Well, I'm leaving. Shield. Shield, no, not you. Not you. Shield, your daughter no. is in there with my wife. If your wife's in there, maybe she wanted to go. Is she in by itself? Is she in there? How to get a date with a vampire? You're gonna be dead. Me. You're gonna be dead. Oh, she's. She looks a little drained. She's been killed. Killed by a vampire! Yeah. Anna! 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 
So she made the bed Anna! before she went. Good for her. Anna! No. What have you done with my wife? Only what she wanted. Schoolmaster. Oh. Very white teeth. Give me back my life. Where are you, Charles? Oh. Edgar Allan Poe is big daddy dead. mad right now, too. We've killed him. We've rid our village of evil. Is she not going to come back as a vampire now? child better no mother at all than a mother who serves the devil this destroy is the castle <laughs> I don't know if this is part of the circus. I feel like maybe his curse was the circus. You! The fuck is this? Like, seven seconds. Put that in the courtyard. Here, here. Put, put that on the stairs. Hey, maybe Paul. 
pull the stake out of his... Oh, oh. Okay, is he dead or is he alive? You guys already know anything about Twilight. Phenomenal. Will I watch again? Probably not. But it was a good laugh. So I giggled the entire movie. Voice gangs. Derek Whitehurst. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if somebody's been, I, I don't do, I hate clowns, I don't like clowns. I'm not a clown fan. Not like to the point that it's like a phobia, like I can handle a clown. But just not. Should I go hide inside? Go hide in the house. The witch with the flying head. Interesting. I am prepared as I watch it. Twelve dead. Even the priests. The Lord can't save his own. God knows what's going to happen. knows how many people are ill with this thing. You still say there isn't a curse on us? It's a disease. Let me look this up. Something that can be stopped. It's more than that. Witch. And we know it. And so do all the people in the villages around. Why else do you think they put up roadblocks? Interesting. Kept us all pinned in here like lepers. I'll check it out. They're frightened of catching the illness. That's reason enough. It's just an illness. Why can't you cure it? Because I don't have the correct medicine. Oh, you don't right. even know what's causing it. Well, do you? Admit it. But no, I know what he doesn't know. Do you know? No, I don't. I don't have to. If I can get past the roadblocks, I can bring back knowledge and medicines from the capital to stamp out the disease, whatever it is. How do we know you'll come back? I love those windows. Would you prefer to go in my place? Well, I, I, I wouldn't know what medicines to obtain, would I? 
or not. Now sign here, please, as your authority. Dr. Kirsch, no medicines will help us. Fifteen years ago, we thought we'd killed a demon. But he's been waiting in his castle to kill us. Your children will die. Stop it. Stop it. Your two boys and, and your Dora and, and my Rosa. Oh, they they're all well. All that old. For how long? The town of Stettel will die. Mitterhouse curse. You weren't there. You didn't have to risk your life to drive a stake into his heart. I did. Fifteen years ago, we killed a man. Oh. There are no vampires. The doctor told but us that, and I believe it. Did kill a vampire, I my killed God. a man who seduced and killed the daughters of this village. And who helped him, eh? Forgive me, Albert. It's a low blow. Mr. House has left his curse. Nothing supernatural. You allowed that wreck of a castle to grow and fester into a breeding ground for who knows what diseases. Vermin, filth, those bats. Vampire bats! Bats! Damn you! Must you go on believing I old wives' tales? Bat. That was not a vampire bat. The vampires exist only in legends. <coughs> the imaginings of sick and diseased minds. Nowhere else. Legends. Nowhere else. Bubba, you're okay. Interesting. the roadblocks. Didn't they tell you about us? They didn't have to. Everyone knows Stettel is dying. Oh. Wait, hang on, hang on. Did I miss something? I missed something. Oh, God, look at the little kitty cat. Why have you come? It looks like Sir Teddy could have... To Sir steal Teddy the Kush money Kush. from dead men's eyes. <laughs> the circus <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, apparently they're just making their or Louis making their his Barrett, Barrett's barking at I want you guys to know he's here. Well if they got I in, feel like he's a part of this. I'll get out. Good luck and Godspeed. What are they gonna do? Is everything ready, Andrew? Yes, Father. Doctor, Doctor, my, my wife and I, we're both very ill. You'll have to help us. Please, will you help us? My son will be back. He'll do what he can for you, Hans. He's like, I'm dying. Let me give you whatever I'm dying from. I'll go first and draw their fire. I don't want you to. And I don't want to do it. Do you know another way? No. Okay, I don't know. Maybe, like, go through that fucking right, woods, my dudes. Good luck, Father. Luck? Remember, we make our own luck. Try and see Dora in the capital. Tell her she must stay there. Giddy up! What 
they have guns, so good for them. So the doctor was in the last movie. He's gonna this one. Easy, but send it. You told the the horse to go out. Did you shot it? Come on, gotta break through. Let's go. Come on, stop it. He's getting through. He's gonna get hit. Hit right. Then they have guns behind it. This kid. which has given pleasure to many of the crowned heads of Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of Stettel, tonight, for your eyes alone, Deva and Serena! Oh! <laughs> he looks sassy. He's a fucking mutton chop. The chops on this dude. A naked oh. painted lady. Is she, is she a snake tiger lady? What is she? Oh, 
he's just walking ah, to the surface. Our hero returns! How goes the battle? <laughs> what? Well, it goes well. Bravo, Mon Capitan. Ah, go! The enemy is here! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dubbing in this is off. I have a lot. Is it well? I think he got through. <laughs> I told him to find mean, Dora yeah. and tell her to stay away. Thank you, Anton. I love her too. I just have a circus in my backyard. I know that. <laughs> Services, the friends you make along the way. <laughs> Don't keep animals in cages. Is that a puma or a jaguar? What the fuck is that? Back. Back. Um, there were no men in my backyard, unfortunately. I just can't seem to keep them. <laughs> See what the river says. Oh. Papa! Papa, Mama! I was running to look into the panther's cage. Suddenly it was all black and dark. But this man saved me. <laughs> oh my god. That would be creepy. Oh god. See, Barrett doesn't even like it. <laughs> Gustav is gone. He's just Gustaving off over there. Oh, he's getting a little kiss a Rooney. Thank you, Rylan Paul's getting big daddy. daddy. Oh my god, thank you so much for following! Welcome to the cult, you old fuzzy kid out. I just. Should you be home? Yes, I suppose I should. Emil will take you home. Won't you, Emil? He can turn into a jaguar anytime he wants. <laughs> oh, yeah, the poor man's totally gonna get all the smooches, alright? lady come from? Oh, that's the daughter. Oh, oh ma'am, you're about to get, you're about to get turned into a vampire. Yeah, he's, he's a vampire. There we go. Emil. Not yet, not yet. Emil, it is not time. He can't. <laughs> 
He couldn't help himself. I know, in the Jaguar cage of all places. Like, at least go back to her place, my guy. I won't stay at home. I won't. She wasn't having a type of tantrum. Keep your voice down. To make him ring all the children in circuit. Please, Mama. Rosa, your father doesn't know what time you came home last night, but I do. Oh, Mama. A circus performer. A gypsy, someone we know nothing about. He's so not. He's been everywhere, seen so much. Not like the boys here. Please. The, no, the poor man so is think, the vampire's cousin, I think. I was so old when you came. You weren't old. You're not old. You're not old, Mama. Obviously not. Or I'd know better than to let you always have your way. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. She's like, please don't get pregnant with a circus freak Thank you, kid. Mama. She's like, oh, wait, you're already doing weird flips and shit. Oh, Isn't it wonderful? The circus. Isn't it wonderful? In the circus. on the children and their parents. Fifteen years, Cousin Metahouse. But now we are here to free you. Oh. To give you life. Must they all die? Yes. Their parents killed him. The Burgermeister. Hauser. School teacher, Miller. But must they all die? All! If this was a real circus, I would go to this circus. It looks cool as shit. And you get the chance at immortal life? Okay. Concerned you? I wonder who he's picked out tonight. Oh, see, that's what I feel like I look like whenever I take Louie on walks. It's all right, Chilts. There's nothing to fear. Nothing. Oh, it's gonna eat your face, dude. It is gonna eat your face. Now for another Gilda. Some of you may look into the mirror of life. And it is only right 
that he'd honor the Burgermeister. The Burgermeister. He'd be the first to see the light. <laughs> no, sir, don't you see? For you, sir, everything is free. <laughs> Imagine huh. living in a time where just like seeing this is just like the epitome of entertainment. Right, I forgot David Prowse is in this. Help us take him home. I warned him the Count would revenge himself. Oh, no. We must get away. Don't worry. I arranged it with the circus people. Oh, I can, I can turn it down. Get me out of here. Got it. There we go. Just a smidge. It's all hair. people. Let me know later if, if, if it still needs to go down. Oh, I'll take it. Does he just always have his face paint? I don't like that. My guy, like, wash your face. What are you, my guy, what are you doing? We have entered the ASMR portion because I can hear my neighbors are in bed. And I don't want to be rude. <laughs> there, I'll turn my audio up. I don't like going on nature walks with the, with the circus guy. That's a note from me, dog. There's no kitty cat. No, it's not oh. a kitty cat. Come on, mother. Oh, I've got you. Here. You sit there. All right. We have passed the roadblock. Oh, bless you. Don't bless me. Pay me. Don't know where to go now. 
now. Oh no, they're gonna be lost in the woods. They're gonna get eaten by a vampire. Yep, they're gonna get eaten. They trusted. They were like, yeah, this guy can now, take us out of here. No. Do something. I have to speak to him. There's nothing I can do. Anton. Don't you understand? He's going to die. <gasps> He's going to die. I'll come back tonight. Try and get Hauser to leave him alone. Uh, are you and Rosa all right? She's asleep. She, she stayed out all last night. No, mm -mm, I don't trust Carnies. I tried oh. to stop her. No, no offense, but I don't trust you. I think she was that man from the circus. Oh, I know. He isn't the first. Oh, I wish they'd never come. <laughs> Dora, she wanted her to have it. I will. At the moment, she's safe in the city. Thank God. Oh, is that Dora? <laughs> no, Dora's trying to get back. <laughs> Damn, Dora, why are you going exploring right now? You were safe in the city, my girl. Are you holding Grandma's head? Okay, okay. Also, not the time for this, sweetie. Not the time. Oh, 
Okay. She came this way. You see who it was? No. But she must still be hereabouts. Well, let's go back. I'm not going any closer to the village. Mm -mm -mm. Why do you frighten these poor people? Fear drives out fear, as death oh. drives out death. Oh, he asking really questions. Where do you come from? The car from is? And nowhere. Go home to your daughter. Dora's not here. Not yet. School teaching. Oh. Oh. Dora, why aren't you at school? I just couldn't stop exploring, Dad. God help them. God help us. It must have been the men at one of the roadblocks that killed them. It was one of the jungle beasts from the circus. I should never have let those people stay. The circus animals are caged. They couldn't have done it. Kid, do you no, 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 no. Wolves, wild boar. No, Anton. You didn't see it. Why are you so anxious to protect the circus? I'm just trying to keep everyone from going mad, that's all. When you were ready to lynch the gypsies that first daughter. night, and it turned out they helped find your son. Anton, take Dora to the house, will you? It would be a little gaslighty, okay? Don't give him too much credit, Anton. It might have been men from the roadblock. Who knows what lengths people from other villages will go to, to frighten us. Hadn't you heard that the plague is getting worse? I missed you so much. You shouldn't have come back. Anton. Didn't my father tell you in the capital? I didn't see him there. But he did get through. I saw him. All I know is that Daddy. I had to be with you Daddy. and Father, whatever the risk. Oh, Dora. Do you think I'm trying to hide something? How can you be so sure about the animals? Hmm. All right, I'll prove it to you. That's I'll take question. you to the circus tonight. Come along, you two. They are angry and irrational because they're afraid. They can't understand why you defend the circus. Because the circus is the one thing that keeps people from brooding about death and disease. Mm. Well, Helga and Heinrich seem to fly, and the gypsy woman and her animals, well, they play with death. They defy it. They play no games. They are death. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. And she's just smiling through this entire conversation. Just like, what have I missed? Oh, this poor guy. The animals can't harm anyone, they're in cages. I still think they're frightening and dangerous. Is that a stuffed tiger? Never or a real tiger? Something. Interesting. Oh, poor tiger, so sedated. Nice tiger. Helga. Animals are quite harmless. What? <laughs> oh my God, Barry, you're okay. 
Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Barrett, no. <laughs> Fucking shit. Bubba, no. Did you enjoy the circus? Where are your mother and father? Oh, they're not they here. They said want to come. Barrett, don't stop repeating at me. And a circus <laughs> for the young. Would you like to see inside the mirror? But we don't have any money. Oh, I know this movie has so many jumps here. Two <laughs> boys. It's my dog I think barking at me. <laughs> hey, Bubba, please stop. <laughs> what are they about to do? All about to see. Oh, they're gonna probably <laughs> die. Oh, the vampire's gonna kill him! I don't know why Barrett's barking right now. Barrett, what are you. Oh, what's it's supposed to happen? I don't know. Wait, Dora only died at 40? What? Oh. No, they had no reflection. Thirty-nine? Did she was she sick? Oh, they're like pulling the kids in. They're pulling them in. They come with us kitties. <laughs> Get a little bit of color. Good for him. Good for him. Who next? The Burgermeister's daughter. Rose. Well, you know, when you're alive for that long in life, you're gonna Obviously get a cavity or two, right? I feel like blood's got a lot of sugar in it. I'm boys! Smash what's left of your brains in! The strong man. The boys! The boys! They're here! They're here! Come quickly! The boys are here! Oh, poor guy. I mean, we didn't have a hand in all of this, but. Stupid game, so it's a surprise. Noises from underneath here. The Count. Coming back from hell to do what he swore he would. Today, tis the Hauser boys. It'll be my Rosa next. She stays away all night. 
You know it's that panther. Kill them. We must kill all the animals. No, it's not. Kill him. Kill him. No, please. Kill him. Please, drop him. Why? He's right. Oh. The oh, are dude, afraid. come correct. I always have a good feeling. You want to pay a bill and we know what do that? Do. Best. Best, best, the best. Peter, no. Please. No, Peter, no. Please. Please. Stop him. Please. No. about Rosa, who do something terrible. Where have they gone? To the circus? Oh, they did not hurt, they did not hurt these animals. <laughs> He's gonna shoot his daughter. He's gonna shoot his daughter. Or himself? He's gonna shoot himself? Rosa! Did she just make herself a to-go meal? Volunteer? What is it? What's happened? It's his heart. He's dead. So are all my animals. Oh. Is he like, are you my ex-wife? What have you come to do to us? I think he's Don't really you know. You did make yourself a to-go meal. You did. Emil. Emil. I mean, I, was it nice seeing the clown cry? Yes. Was it, you know, nice knowing what he was crying about? Absolutely not. I am upset about those animals. children to give you life. Tonight, you 
your twins will kill Miller's child and you will live. Emile! Tonight! Oh, Emile's her son, isn't it? Our show must be brief tonight, but for all who are willing to pay the price, your daughter, your daughter. we invite you to go through the mirror of life! Cream Joey, thank you so much for subscribing. Oh my god, you're a gem. You make me so happy. I don't deserve you guys. Oh. Oh, oh, Dora's gonna die. Dora's about to. Call me a trick, though. Doran! Doran! Jesus saving the day. That wasn't even there. It wasn't even there. He saved the day. Mm -mm -mm. Well, how are they going to get the kids down? They're both wearing crosses. It must be tonight. But she wears the cross. Your mother will be with you. To tear it from her daughter's neck. Oh! Why did she make more kids? Oh my gosh, she did make more kids. Okay. We'll do what must be done, Peter. I swear it. And Rosa? I don't know. Leave us. Yes, Doctor. We found Rosa dead. If only I'd returned sooner. A virulent strain of rabies carried by bats. My test proved it. The Emperor himself saw that I had everything we need and provided me with these soldiers to get me back safely. Tell them the rest. I mocked a talk of vampires and the Baron's curse. Mm. I was wrong. <laughs> there I've are seen vampires. Proof, terrifying proof. People have been killed in towns and villages. Killed by vampires. And each place where a victim has been reported, the Circus of Knights has stayed for a day or two and moved on. They've been here for a week. Why? One of them, the one called Emile, is a kinsman of Count Midhouse. We have two plagues to fight. We must distribute the medicines to people. And rid ourselves of this second sickness. For good. All right, so what's what's the plan? When does the plan stand? What are we gonna do? Who are we gonna call? Because the Ghostbusters aren't out yet. Whatever it was, you're safe here in your own home. I have a feeling it's important for me to remember what happened. I mean, it might be. 
Be all that little smidge, little smidgerin. Do you know where the key to this door is? myself near the castle. Where? Okay. No, no, under the castle. Uh, what do you oh, know what it looks like oh, under the castle? Remember. I must remember. God bless you, Father's help. How many are sick? Two. Something to do with the twins. Twins, they were leaving. Then. Oh, damn them! What's that? Sending the boarding students upstairs. <laughs> Getting the sick, John. You'll students. have to protect me. <laughs> well, what from? <laughs> Welcome to the dollhouse. Interesting, interesting. Students. It's a weird, cringy movie. Upstairs. Okay. Wait, this is a weird, cringy movie. He's very quiet. I will give it to him. Oh, turn into a little kitty cat. No, stay there. Circus, not your monkeys at this point, my guy. It's time to go. Get your girl and run. Anton? Anton? Is that a chapel or is that their living room? What is that? Anton! Anton! Louder! Uh, Louder! No one can hear. They are so creepy. This movie's creepy. She was given the part, she played it well. It's a very creepy game of tag with your siblings that you don't know that you're si that are your siblings. Who 
who's playing the fucking organ right now? Sweetie, do you don't remember that they can turn into fucking bats, my right? What was that, my dude? I mean, it was a dope hey, yeah, just the medicine. Right. The adults are here. I rung the bell and they came. Right. You're right. Well, I rang the bell. Are you all right? Oh, the, were the twins God, and G.I. Joe are. connected? Just like that. Students upstairs. Ring the adult bell. They're all dead. Oh, do you hate it when the students upstairs die without paying their tab? Ugh, it's the worst. Tess! Dr. Tess! Things aren't I didn't quite think crazy. she'd let them harm you. Why? Who is she? Who is she? Someone who should have died 15 years ago. All the bodies have been torn to pieces. We have to get back to the village. Will you be all right? Greta. Interesting. Stay with her. Interesting. I never watched G.I. Joe. I have to watch us. Hey, maybe you should take one with you, my dude. Lock and bar the doors behind us and close the shutters, all right? Come, Anton. We must finish it before dawn or they'll escape. The strong man and the dwarf, Emil and the gypsy, and the count. What? Oh. And your children will die. Sir, calm down. To bring me back to life. Calm down. That's why they oh, remained here he for so long. Word. Don't you understand that? The count. <laughs> oh my the god, there's a video game. Happy Halloween and back from How the dead. How are you doing, my dude? Jesus, leave us! Leave us! Oh, it's this guy. It's the strong guy. <laughs> Please leave us. <coughs> I like how she went from leave us to like, please leave us. He's like, doesn't work on me. Doesn't work on me. Bring in extra water. Please leave us alone. It like, doesn't Please. work on me. Go back to them. Ah! You just remember that like a corgi. 
We didn't watch Brain Scan. I was waiting. So we're gonna watch it with you. We're gonna watch it on Halloween or a Halloween stream. Damn you! It's nice to know that Darth Vader's always had that personality. You know. Find Michael and bring him here. Dude, our house Halloween stream is gonna be lit. I'm gonna carve a pumpkin. Doctor! Doctor! Over here! It's the dancers. Oh, old mutton chop spaghetti died Human too. beings bled like animals to feed the vampires. We must find the others. We must destroy the circus. Like Burn it. them out! Is the pepper Hold one. faster, I'll fire! Wait! Show us where they are and we'll spare you. Show us! Well, that's one way down from the fields. Oh, dude, you should have seen the count before he got killed.
You know, I was kind of looking at the pink shirt, though. He was the bad guy. Two kids survive, but everyone else is dead. It's a lot of death. I feel like the other vampire is about to come back, right? They're not on the calendar, they're not on the list. But if you post them on the Discord server, how will you strong make the list? But the crossbow head was a pretty cool shot, though. The pretty cool, pretty cool vampire killing. Thank the Lord that you have been saved. Honestly, enjoyed that more than I thought I would. So, hats off to them. Hats off to Vampire Circus and Hammer Horror for wrapping up the night strong. For wrapping up the night strong. Thank you guys for being here and hanging out in the chat with me. Kept me so much fun. I think the naked snake lady was the tiger, wasn't she? Yeah, the circus really sucked, guys. I don't know about you, but feeling a little drained after that one. But, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to giving it another shot. Oh my god, so many puns. <laughs> Alright. Huh. Jeez, welcome to the cult. You all cult kiddo. We do movies most of the time. Except not this Friday. This Friday, we're, I'm building a PC. I'm building a PC on Friday. Oh, that reminds me, guys. Um, I know on the calendar, it says we're starting at 9. 
but Aaron and I talked today and he said that we needed to start earlier so we're gonna start at 7 because he said it could take us four hours which sounds like a lot of time because there's not that many parts but what do I know nothing I know nothing about it that's why Aaron's gonna be here helping me <laughs> oh my god circus animal cookies circus and are you talking about animal crackers animal crackers top tier top you have to get name brand you have to get name brand animal crackers that's the one thing that i will say name brand animal crackers they come in the little the little red box that that looks like a like a tiger cage 10 out of 10 i would punch a kid for some right now um thank god there's no kids around oh um <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, guys, thank y'all so much for hanging out. What is the rest of this week like? I've been like on autopilot. So I can't remember what we're supposed to do. Let's see. What are we watching this week? What's tomorrow? What's Wednesday? We'll be back on Wednesday. Oh, guys, Lori Moore is back on Wednesday. We're going to be watching My Best Friend's Exorcism, which is a book. If you haven't read the book, I've only gotten about halfway through it because I have like zero time for myself. But it's good. It's a good book. Um, but comedian Lori Moore is going to come and hang out. So, yeah. Make sure you're here. We will be using the Watch Party feature. So, you'll need Amazon Prime to watch the show with us. Um, but, if you don't have Prime, I don't think it's available anywhere else. Because it just came out on Amazon. And it's like a Amazon release. But, yeah. I'll see if I can find it anywhere else. I'll let you guys know. But, if not, I'll see you guys Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, until whenever it's done. I'll be making a PC to go hang out. But yeah, I'll see you guys later this week. I'll see you Wednesday. Hope you guys have a good night. And until then, stay safe. Make sure you're drinking water. Moisturize with a little face mask on to see you guys. Uh, good night, everybody. Leslie! Hey! Hey, you know my titties like you want it. They calling me all the time. I found it. Check out my cushy behind it. It's fine all over the time. Thank you, Carl Colony Center. Hey, Leslie! Uh, any water snakes out there? Cool. <laughs> you followed me before on my old. Get your hey, face punched. Or get my face punched. Hey, hey, Bob, Followed me before what the hell are you on doing? a different thing. Apparently, I'm not allowed to say my old you. name. I'm like fucking Voldemort or something. Oh fuck! You raided me. Hey, Kenny, you oh, thank you very away. much. That's Kenny. Love him and leave. We are watching uh, <laughs> hey, Sleepaway Camp. This is the third movie of the night. Here. Is this what's called getting caught with your um, pants then?
Stupid. Yes, thank you, Jawbreaker, for doing that. I'm sorry, it's so small. If I had a nickel. Kenny, let's go. Welcome in cult comedy cinema. Come oh shit, cult here. comedy cinema is fucking oh, awesome. Oh yeah, Bezik. Bezik. Damn it! Before I start getting into my groove, it ends. I never know what to do. Well, thank you very much for rating me. Uh, your shit. And then, yeah, follow her. Based on that uh, shitty ass uh, shout out I do. That is too small to see. Uh, she's awesome. She's a horror hostess with the mostest. How was your stream tonight? I like to see Mel get his fat ass down here. Twenty-six followers now. Almost there. We're bringing it back. Cult comedy cinema. Of course, stream was solid. Awesome. Yeah, I was peeking in. What movie was that? I couldn't. Uh... R S O well. Love Angel. Cyrus. Uh -oh. I've been wondering, wondering what happened round. to you long. Of course, we'll have to wait for the medical I got the boot. examiner to check in. But the old guy got the boot. Of by Joby. Thank it's you. It is my birthday. I've been uh, so. vampire circus. Old as fuck. Ah, oh, cool. No I've been old as fuck for uh, I mean, the boy an hour now. Scared and panicked, right? That could be a logical explanation. So it was one of those fluke accidents we could not have Happy foreseen. Happy birthday, dude. Thank you. I don't know. It was an accident. I mean, that's what the officer said, right? Blew out candles. The autopsy will be more conclusive. Right. You watch you movies. As as you, know? you can count on it. If you'll excuse me, I have Other the unpleasant task of informing the boy's